back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on Instagram, where I cover slightly different content, but usually involving perfumes also. So today I'm super excited to bring you a tag video, and this tag was started by the beautiful Lala from Lala Da Beauty. And I will link her channel below. Be sure to check out her channel. She does really great content on perfume. So if you're a fragrance lover, you will definitely love her channel. And today, <laughs> I am wearing this again. So <laughs> this is the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Cherry on Top Palette. I just can't get enough of it. I don't know. Um, I love this whole pink and <laughs> this whole pink vibe is just doing it for me. So I don't know. Just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> I talked about it in another video too. So anyway, so Lala's tag is about 10 fragrances for 10 moods. So I'm going to take you through 10 different moods and my pick for a fragrance that goes with that mood, either because I want to continue that mood or I want to change it. And that'll be pretty obvious by which mood I'm talking about. So starting out with cheerful. So for cheerful, I picked a very cheerful perfume. This is from Marc Jacobs, Daisy Dream Twinkle, and it's just a really fun floral. It's kind of soft and um, just a bright floral fruity, very um, not complex, um, very not complex. <laughs> it's just pretty. It's just a pretty happy, um, cheerful to me fragrance that I really like, and I especially enjoy this one in spring and summer. But you know what, this could be good in winter too when you're just feeling, because I know once it gets to be the dead of winter, like January 20th, 25th, in that area, it gets to be a long winter where I live. So anyway, this is Daisy Dream Twinkle. I think it's a very cheerful fragrance. The next mood is reflective. So when I'm feeling a bit reflective and just thinking about things, pondering things, um, maybe getting a little existential. I like to wear something like Maison Lancome's Jasmine Marzipan. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous Jasmine. It's not particularly a gourmand, although it does have the almond marzipan vibe to it, but it's just a really pleasant, um, it's not like overpowering in your face, but it's got decent longevity, super versatile. I really love this one. Um, I got this bottle recently at a Lancome sale, although I had a travel spray I still have a travel spray um, that I've had for a long time and I really love this. It's, um, I think it's the perfect one for those reflective moods. Next mood is gloomy. So it's fall here. I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. Occasionally it gets a little gloomy when it starts raining and stuff. So on a gloomy day, I think a real great pick me up is Cryptomint from Mugler. And so this is from the Amen line. It's marketed to men, but it's very gender neutral. Anyone can wear this. It's like the original angel. Eau de Parfum. It's got the very, very similar quality, but then it's got a lot more mint to it. So it's a, it's a fun bottle. It's a fun fragrance. It's, um, the mint actually does last, although it's very, it's, it's much more intense at the beginning, at the opening, but it does last. And this is a great one for, um, cheering you up on a gloomy day. And I really love it. It's melancholy. So just feeling kind of sad and, you know, that happens and if I want to cheer myself up when I'm feeling melancholy I just got this one but I've had Aura this is Aura Eau de Toilette um, it's very different from the Eau de Parfum I find the Eau de Parfum to be much more medicinal smelling and just very not hard to wear but a little bit challenging this one is much more people pleasing to me it's got um, Tiger Liana. To me, it smells like a white flower, like a jasmine or a neroli kind of orange blossomy. Um, but it's a very bright, beautiful, um, it's gorgeous. Um, it's, it's still got the rhubarb note that the original Eau de Parfum has, but I just love this one. And like I said, it's pretty new to me. I just talked about it in a recent chopping block video because this replaced something else. Um, so it's gorgeous and I think it's a great one for um, cheering me up on a melancholy mood type of situation. Next is whimsical. <laughs> so um, if I'm feeling whimsical, I think anything from Lolita Lampica is going to fit with that vibe because Lolita Lampica is just such a fun, cheerful, whimsical, dreamy, um, I think when Lala, in Lala's video, she talked about the Lolita Land one, which is another great one. This is the original, um, but almost anything from this line, with the exception of maybe the Midnight line, 
um, from Lolita Lempica. They're very whimsical, fun, and just playful and not very serious, but really beautiful, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we've got romantic. So when I think of romantic fragrances, I think of something rich and beautiful and um, maybe feminine, maybe not. This one's very gender neutral. This is Ellie Saab Essence Number no. 3 Ombra. So this is my favorite amber um, intensive fragrance. And I just think it's very romantic because it's, it's, um, it's so like elegant and beautiful. And I don't know, to me, it's very romantic. It's definitely, like I said, gender neutral but um, I get a very beautiful romantic vibe from this and I think it's it's fabulous. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. I got mine on Mercari, which, you know, I keep 50, you can have a, a maximum of 50 searches on Mercari. I always have 50 searches going on Mercari. So this was one that I was very happy to find and I love it. And then sexy. So when, when I think about sexy, I am thinking about something really deep, rich, something a little, bit more vibrant and this is a newish one to me but Narciso Rodriguez I think has a very sexy vibe. This is the um, Narciso Rodriguez for her Love Salute and it's a delicious it's a delicious musk that is classy and sexy and I think the bottle is even sexy. It's just a beautiful fabulous um, amped up version of Narciso Rodriguez for her and I really love it. Like I said, pretty new, but loving it. Fearful, anxious. So when I think about fearful, anxious, I think of, I want something that I'm familiar with to ground me. So for me, that would be Jimmy Choo because Jimmy Choo is something that I just love. Uh, it's a very comforting, familiar, even though it's not for everyone because it's very patchouli intensive. So if you don't like something that's very patchouli intensive, this may not be for you, but it's also got pear toffee, lots of other beautiful notes that I think it's it's just something that makes me feel like, you know, it's going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. Jimmy Choo. Uh, lonely. So for Lonely, I picked Shalimar Souffle because this one brings me to my grandma because my grandma wore Shalimar. And it's just, it's just sort of that scent memory and I love it. And it makes me remember and feel very comforted and happy. Um, so anyway, Shalmar Souffle, I think, um, would help me with uh, a loneliness feeling. And then Mysterious. So for Mysterious, I picked another Lolita Lempica. This one is Semen Wee Illusion Noir. And I picked this because it's just a really mysterious fragrance to me. It's like, I can't quite... It's got Sweet Pea, Heliotrope, Patchouli, Mandarin Orange, and a couple other things but it's not like, it's just so interesting. And like, what is that? It's it's niche smelling to me. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. I think it's really, it's just a unique, interesting and somewhat mysterious fragrance. So, and I think the bottle kind of goes with that vibe, the black uh, four leaf clover. So that is my favorite uh, mysterious fragrance of the moment. And so I would love to hear your thoughts on this tag. Thank you, Lala, for tagging me. I really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. And if you're interested in doing this tag, please consider yourself tagged, whether you're a content creator or a subscriber. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments or in a video on Instagram, whatever your preferred platform. And I will see you again very soon. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Thank you so much.